Hey guys, it's Mo. So today I wanted to do for you a planner setup video. This is an updated planner setup video and it's probably going up in March, but it's currently like the third week of February and I'm already doing a planner setup update. Um, I did a planner setup in January and with my plans for this year and so far I have changed a lot. So my January planner was the Filofax Original and Patent Nude. My February planner was the uh, Filofax Original in Fluoro Pink. And in the third week of February, I decided to change to my Color Crush, my black and white Color Crush planner. Um, that was from part of a collection with Fun Stampers Journey. That's why the binding here does not have the WP logo on it. And there's something already on it. Um, so this is from Fun Stampers Journey, I believe is the name of the company. I got it from an Alex Stamps on Instagram. She's like a representative or a host or well, not a host. What do you call those people? She's like the representative. She's the person that you go to if you want to order from this company. Um, and it's funstampersjourney.com. And I think it's either Alex Stamps or Alex underscore Stamps. I'll leave it linked down below. But um, this I hauled in my big ass planner haul. And I actually was uh, complaining about it. And I returned my original one because the cover was really, really sharply bent. And even here you can still tell, um, I'm hoping you can see that the rings are not in the center binding. They're kind of off a little. So that makes the back stick out more and then your pin loop um, kind of stick out. So um, I'm not 100% disappointed with this. Um, you know, it's not enough for me to say, hey, screw this, I hate it. Um, I actually really do like these. For the price, they're really affordable. The binding is huge, so you can stuff these to friggin' heaven and back. Um, the strap is really long. I actually have two more on the way from their spring release, the Platinum Rose and the Walnut Color. I totally thought there was going to be this color called Melon. That was a really light pinky coral color um, that, I don't know, like, it was called melon. I don't know. Maybe I had like a planner dream or something about that. I really do not know. But anyway, I have two on the way. These are really affordable. I pre-ordered them. They're really great um, to have if you're trying to get into ring bound planning, but you really don't want to drop the money on something like a Filofax. So um, let's just get into it here. The, uh, what do you call it? The hardware on this is all silver. Sometimes they will mix silver and gold. So you'll, you'll get like gold rings, but the button will be silver. I'm not sure. It's really weird. The reason I like these planners over any other planner is, is definitely the button. My favorite planners are the Filofax original and they have a button. I have a Safiano, two Safianos. I'm actually gifting one to my sister and I don't like it because it doesn't have this button closure. I don't know, I'm really weird. And I also have an elastic elastic closure Kiki K. Don't like it, I like the button. It's not just the snap because my Safiano has a snap and I, it's gotta be the button. So this is the inside here. I used some Target Dollar Spot um, what are those called? Like file folders to make my dividers that has this secretarial pocket the Webster's Pages Planner does and I like to tuck something behind to add a little bit of color because there's more pockets here than in the Filofax original which I can show you here. I mainly put a lot of paper clips on these because the pockets really aren't that functional. So um, you get one, two, three pockets and then a fourth pocket with like a plastic window here. I have a Project Life card from, it's the collection of Beautiful Mess the blog did for Project Life. And then on the other pieces of this project folder thing here, I have used a tape runner to use adhesive or to adhere some of the target page flags down. I do actually functionally use these in my blog planning. So the theme for this is like black, white, and green. Um, I don't know if that's going to be my sticker combination kind of thing going on, but that is the general gist of this. I have the six tabs um, that I started off with in my January setup. I continue to move those over. The first tab is my calendar, um, which I have divided into three top tabs. This little hippopotamus guy was drawn by Chris from Stop and Jot Crafts. I will leave her... Um, what do you call it? 
her shop linked down below because she does some cute little illustrative stickers. I use the back of my dividers. I don't know what my problem is today. This is my second time filming this and the first time did not work out. So um, back of my, my dividers, I put sticky notes on. I have a plan with me that I believe is up on this De uh, December, February monthly uh, plan with me here. And I also have my February in there as well. The next section is my weekly section. I use week on four page vertical inserts. Um, they're in my shop. They have a different font up here and they're undated. Um, you can see this was Valentine's Day week. I didn't do anything this weekend. Zach actually left this weekend. So um, I was really off the whole time he was here, which was, it's not a bad thing. Um, you know, I like to think that I'm really good with change, but sometimes when change happens, I cannot get into a routine. And what usually happens is Zach is gone for an extended period of time, like six weeks, six to eight weeks. Then he comes home for two to three weeks. And so he's home all day, every day. And then maybe for a week or a week and a half, he, or two weeks sometimes, he'll be home on the weekends, but be gone during the week. And so I have like cycles of things I just cannot get routines down for. When he's gone, I am all about my routines because it kind of makes the, the time move faster and like gets my mind off the fact that he's gone. But we, we hardly see each other. And so when he's here, you know, I, I want to prioritize being with him, but I also am upset with myself that I can't get all the things I need to get done, done. And so it's a really like inner struggle with me and it is definitely an outward struggle as well, but it definitely, I, I don't know, I do not know how to balance everything and it really frustrates me because I should be able to just plan it out, but I, I definitely, I definitely cannot. So anyway, that was a tangent. I have, um, week on four page inserts that I'm going to continue to use throughout the month of February and probably into March. I'm thinking about trying to change them, but I really, really don't know if I want to or not. So the next section is or was my daily section where I had these daily inserts and I did slit all my inserts here um, eventually like I said I was going to do in February or in my January setup, but I find if I turn to ferociously which that wasn't even a really ferocious turn they come out and I don't really really like that so I made um, this is my daily morning and evening routine I made this checklist thing I'll show you a blank one that is in my shop that everything is blank it has a daily checklist a weekly checklist other checklist and then three blank checklist which you can put like I put a little uh, flag here for the date you could put a little flag up there or whatever or uh, like an MDN header that says like goals or something like that and focus on that for the week so I guess this is another like weekly planning even though I consider it my daily section I guess it's more like routine and tracking. I used to do something on my blog called Four Simple Goals, where I'd set four goals for various parts of my life to complete each month, and then each weekend I would work on one of those goals. Um, I don't think, since this is for a weekly spread, I don't think I'm going to do that, but I might divide this into like personal home stuff or something. I don't, I'm not quite sure yet. So that is the second part of my calendar section is this daily checklist thing. This one was put in upside down. The next section is my blog Etsy and YouTube section. In the first part of it, I have this blog planner that I downloaded. It's not technically a blog planner. Um, I just purchased this uh, printout from Plan to Create. It's just this page. Let me show you a blank one here. It's just this page here. And I actually designed something to print on the back of it. Um, which it looks exactly like my checklist for my daily pages, which this is what inspired my daily section checklist. So I was using this to lay out to do's and when I was going to film and what I was going to blog about, you know, what I was going to write on certain days, what I was going to film, etc. And it kind of got to be too overwhelming. So for this week, at least I did this um, probably maybe about the end of January or maybe the beginning of February. I'm not sure. So I have a few more inserts like this. I just took them out to save space. I started just doing blog, Etsy, YouTube checklist, daily, weekly, other to do's. And I taped this one 
shut so I could just focus on these two things. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to do that, um, but it's what I'm going to do this week and see if I like it. Um, that way I can just come here and when I'm sitting down to do, do you see her nose? When I'm sitting down to do my blog or work on stuff, Monday I work on the blog, Tuesday and Thursdays I work on the YouTube stuff, Wednesdays and Thursdays I work on, on Etsy stuff. So whenever I'm sitting down, I can see what I need to do and what I need to do here and just get it done. So there's that. So like I said, this prints for me at least on the back of these guys. I made a special insert for myself. And then I have my blog planning. I have my February calendar here where I put in um, the page flags to designate what kind of things I'm planning. Um, I haven't really pre-planned because I really don't know what to blog about this month. Then I have these, which I'll show you a blank one here, weekly blog planner, guys. So this is this week. These are the posts that are going up this week. These are the things I still need to complete. These are blog post ideas. And then this is pre-planning for the next week and I have a to-do list of stuff I wanna do for a specific project that I wanna work on for the blog. I believe I don't have these in the shop. I think these are made just for me. Then my next tab is, yes, is Etsy. I still have like blog ideas and stuff. This is my Etsy tab. I actually made these inserts for myself with the amount of sales per day, or like the number of sales per day and the revenue per day. Etsy fees, Etsy total, revenue from my Zazzle shop, blog, YouTube, things like that, any expenses, etc. This is also not in my shop. I made this just for myself um, to help me see what's happening and what's going on better to keep better track. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, sticker ideas. Then this is a design page. So what normally happens is I design things in bulk. I just sit and design 12 designs. I'm like, these are awesome. Then I forget on when it comes to listing them, what designs I've made. So I made 12 designs, but I only list like eight because I can't remember what the other four are. So I'll write down the design name. If I actually designed it, usually it's design name and I check off design. If I've made a PDF of it, if I've made an image of it to make a collage, to make a draft post for my um, Etsy shop, and then if it's been published on my Etsy shop. So these are really um, helpful. I have quite a few in here um, and then just some blank grid paper. The next thing is my YouTube. This hasn't really changed much. Video to ideas. I still have December schedule. Um, I have a crappy, um, what do you call this? Um, February schedule. I'm not really following it. I'm planning things out, but I'm really not doing the videos that I plan to do. It's really weird. So, um, video ideas, more video ideas, pen testing, I guess. This used to be my finance section where I used to have these inserts. These inserts are in my shop, but I was not using them. I have my own like non-planner way of tracking my finances and stuff. I am a daily um, bank account checker. I'm a daily, you know, make sure things are going where they're supposed to be going kind of thing. I'm not, I don't know, I think I should probably be more actively into tracking, but I do it sort of in my own way. This, this little puppy wants to be cuddled. Mm. I do it sort of in my own way, so I don't, I don't use these anymore. I just haven't made it a priority to actually fill them out. I'm sounding muffled because my dog is in my face. Um, so I just left it in as my purchases and like receiving things. So I have these on sticky notes so I can just take this off when I'm done. I don't have to keep replacing these pages. So the things I've bought or things I'm like wish list kind of and when I buy it I scratch it off. And so then um, I can remove all of these like all this is from Black Friday. <laughs> so in December and I haven't really tracked anything that I've bought recently or purchased recently. So um, I will write down the item and when I purchased it. Once it's shipped, I check it off. And once it is in my hand, I mark it off here. So there's lots of things. I could take all these stickers off, but I just haven't done it yet. Um, then the next one is my routines section. This I have a whole video on routines in my planner, um, which you can also see my caramel color crush in there as well. So I have my weekly 
cleaning checklist. I have my monthly kind of checklist. Then I have the routines I do in each area that I clean um, for my weekly cleaning. On Monday, I clean the living room and the office. So this is what I do on Monday kind of thing. Then I have my Sunday routine, which is very, very torn up. I need to type it up. I just haven't done it yet. And then this is just an outline of all the things that still need to be done in the rooms various rooms of our house. Um, I updated these. I took a lot out, scratched things, took off things that were scratched out and added things onto these pages at the beginning of the year. The next section is just various note pages from the Target dollar spot in case I need to write down notes and to-do lists and things like that. Then this section is what I deem as extras. I have Filofax top loading envelopes with some cancel stickers, a planner, stencil which if you'd like a Cricut a video um, using the Cricut on how to make this I can totally do that um, I just haven't done it yet I don't know if there's there's an interest for it and then I have a flyleaf here to kind of act as a page lifter so that is my setup for February ish for this Webster's pages color crush planner so I also wanted to go over these sort of uh, on the go daily planning thingy do I carry with myself in my purse. This is the a brush case I got from Forever 21. It had some brushes in here and I just keep some various pens and pencils. This one is a really pretty rose gold uh, gel pen from the Target Dollar Spot. And then also these to do list pads from the Dollar Spot as well. I like that I can write the task up here and then anything that's related to the task and check it off and just complete the whole thing. And then also the page flags I use for blog planning, some little important dots, some do drops, some like appointment label boxes, things, more label boxes and some blank grid paper in the back just in case I need any of it. And this stays in my purse and I like that it's super duper portable. And if I am planning in my car, which on my lunch break, I usually sit in my car and try and do, um, social media stuff, some planning, just like some midday planning stuff. Um, I like to have all that with me so I can, you know, use it as I need it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope everything that I said was actually relevant because filming this twice was kind of freaky. So um, I will leave links down below to where you can get this planner, to my Cricut planning videos, like DIYs, to all my other planner videos, any routines and setups and things like that. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye.